decade counter decade counter is a circuit in which each of its 10 outputs turns on one at a time sequentially or in succession in this circuit we will connect 10 leds to our decade counter chip leds will light up one at a time in succession unless all have been turned on and then it starts the counter over again and repeats over and over infinitely this is what a decade counter does in this project we will make a decade counter using 4017 ic these are the components which are needed in this project cd4017 decade counter ic 16 pin ic base 10 kilo ohm resistor 2 1 kilo ohm resistor 100 nano farad capacitor 4 red led 4 green led 2 yellow led 1 white led 9 volt battery pp3 battery connector tact switch on off rocker switch 1 0 pcb 4 screw with nuts and 4 plastic spacers before making the project we will understand its circuit diagram this is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit this is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project this is a power supply indication led this is a current limiting resistor to protect the led from high current and voltage this is the cd4017 decade counter ic this ic has 16 pins it has 10 output pins, 1 clock pin, supply, ground, and reset pin, CLK, or clock pin is initially connected with the ground supply. When we push the tact switch once, then clock pin connects with the positive supply, and IC gives a high output at pin number 3, so LED 0 turns on. When we again push the tact switch, then clock pin connects with the supply again and IC gives a high output at pin number 2, so LED 1 turns on, and at the same time, LED 0 turns off, the same process will go on, till the LED 9 glows up, at a time, only one output remains high, and other remains low, we have connected the RST, or reset pin, with the ground, when we give the positive supply voltage to the reset pin, then the IC will reset, and then all the outputs will come in low state. IC will now start the working from LED 0. These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 16 pin IC base on the PCB. Now we will solder the tact switch on the PCB. Tact switch has 4 pins. Two upper pins are shorted with each other from inside, 
two lower pins, are also shorted with each other. In the bottom side of the tacked switch, there is a line, which separates the upper and lower pins. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitor. This is an unpolarized capacitor, so we can mount it from either side. Now we will solder, 4 green LEDs, one by one. Now we will solder, 3 red LEDs, one by one. Now we will solder, two yellow LEDs, one by one. Now we will solder the white LED. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will connect the negative terminal of all the LEDs, with each other, and then we will connect it with the ground, through 1 kilo ohm resistor.
Now we will connect the LEDs with their relevant IC pin. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery and test our circuit. When we push the tact switch once, then a high signal goes to the next LED and previous LED turns off. At a time only one LED glows and all other remain turn off. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.